Welcome to Homeroom Guidance Quarter 1, Week 4. The content of this video is from the module distributed by the DepEd. I just recorded it for my convenience in teaching. So, shall we start grade 10 students for the Homeroom Guidance of Quarter 1, Week 4 entitled, My Career Influencers. You may play and pause the video when answering the module. Isinulat ang module na ito bilang gabay ng mag-aaral upang malinang ang kanyang aspetong pangkarera o karir. Nakadesenyo ito para sa distance learning o alternatibong pamamaraan ng pagkatuto na hindi nangangailangan ng physical na presensya sa paaralan. Bilang tugon sa direktiba na pagkansela ng face-to-face -face class dulot ng pandemyang COVID-19. Inihanda namin ito upang makilala ng mag-aral ang mga salit na nakaiimpluensya sa kanyang personal na desisyon sa pagpili ng kurso o trabaho na nais niyang tahakin. Ang paggawa ng desisyon tungkol sa pagpili ng kurso ay napakahalaga dahil idinitikta nito ang uri ng kanyang magiging buhay sa hinaharap. Bilang magulang, napakahalaga ang iyong presensya o gampanin upang buong husay siyang makagawa ng sisyon ito. Ang mga gawain na kapaloob sa module na ito ay naglalayong mas mapalalim ang kanyang kamalayan sa mga aspetong makatutulong upang lubos niyang makilala at mapahalagahan ang mga impluensya ito. Mga magulang, inaasahan namin ang iyong buong pusong paggabay sa kanyang pagtupad sa mga gawain. Mahalaga ang iyong partisipasyon sa kaling kailanganin niya ng iyong tulong. Maaari kayong maging bahagi ng matalino at buong husay niyang pagpili sa kurso o trabahong kanyang pinapangarap. Dahil kayo bilang kanyang mga magulang at kami bilang kanyang guro ay may iisang mithiin sa mga mag-aaral na sila ay maging matagumpay sa kanilang hinaharap. Introductory Message for the Learners You make an important choice in your life. You can choose to study well or stop schooling. You can also choose your friends and the people you follow on social media. However, there are choices that you are worth pondering about and that need time and readiness to decide on. An example of this is choosing your future career, which this module is all about. Work on the task seriously and seek help if you believe that you need to. May this module help you in your future career decisions. This learning module has six indicative tasks which are as follows. First, let's try this. Let's explore this. Keep in mind, you can do it. What I have learned, share your thoughts and feelings. Make sure you read, think, follow, and enjoy every task that you ask to do. Have fun and stay safe and healthy. And here are the learning objectives. The materials that you will be needing are pen, sheet of paper, bond paper, any coloring materials. Choosing career is one of the major issues you need to face. It involves an interaction of many factors which are quite complex. It is not a one-time shot task. And it takes a process before arriving at a final career decision. Career decision preparedness creates confidence in career decision making. This module will help you identify and appreciate the influence of the different factors in choosing your career. It will also provide different sources of information which are deemed essential in making an informed choice. 
let us have this activity and let's try this. As you are nearing the completion of your junior high school, your decision in choosing a career to pursue will be tighter. So the activity below will help you identify the influence of interest, family, peers, media, and socioeconomic status in choosing your career. This activity is good for 20 minutes, and here are the instructions to follow. 1. Copy the template on a sheet of paper. 2. On the left side, write the top 3 careers of your choice. 3. On the right side, rate the extent to which the different factors have influenced you in choosing your career. 4. Use the indicators below in measuring the extent of the role they take part. 5. Do the activity as honestly as possible. Number 6. Refer to the example given on the next slide. Processing questions 1. How did you feel while doing the activity? 2. Comparing the results of which factor has influenced you the most and which is the least. And number three, what does it tell you? And explain. Here is the next activity. Let's explore this. Suggested time allotment, 40 minutes. You get to know which or whom among the given factors played the most or least extent of influence in your career choice. The activity that follows will help you appreciate each of them by analyzing how they come to be part of your career decision making and perhaps discover a deeper connection. Here are the instructions to follow. 1. Copy the dialogue box on a sheet of paper. 2. Think of ways on how each of these factors have affected or influenced your career choice. Third, add additional space. Should you still need it? Here is the keep in mind activity. The suggested time allotment is 40 minutes. You might have already observed that more than once in your life, you dream a certain career, then change into another. As you encounter people from different professions, it is normal to assimilate and somehow dream to become like them in the future. Having a change of mind is a normal part of career decision-making process. It happens when you start to become fully aware of yourself in terms of strengths, weaknesses, hobbies, abilities, and many more aspects. It includes factors such as interest, family, peers, media, and socioeconomic status. These factors influence your decision in making a more realistic and viable career choice. It is important to recognize the role they play and the extent to which they should influence your decisions. Your interest in a certain field is a springboard of your exploration. It directs you to gather information and details that develop and nurture more your inclination. Furthermore, your prior knowledge prepares you to the requirements of obtaining such career. Your family also has a strong influence to any decision you make. Your exposure to them and the manner they support you to pursue whatever path you take affect your decision in many manners. This gives confidence in your ability to explore and select a career path that may or may not be what your family influences you to become. Aside from your family, you may be spending much of your time with your peers. Adolescence is a period when you start spending quality time with your friends and classmates influencing you in many matters. 
one such influence is with the career choice. They play an important role in aiding you or impeding your decisions in becoming what you truly want. Sometimes, teen age is strong that it becomes a deciding factor for them to continue as a group. This may become worrisome for adolescents who do not consider factors other than peer influence. However, some also see this as a good influence, especially when peers generally consider support to individual dreams. Consequently, multiple sources of career-related information is of utmost importance is in the process of career decision making. This can be found in career websites, government, and private agencies, and school advocacy programs that can guide you in your career decisions. You can view the link provided to be informed in the in-demand, hard-to-fill jobs, and emerging industries and other information which will help you broaden your career information. Example is Department of Labor and Employment or DOLE. Is it, it is a national government agency mandated to formulate and implement policies and programs and serves as the policy advisory arm in the field of labor and employment. It envisions that every Filipino worker attains full, decent, and productive employment. More information about the agency can be accessed through www.dole.gov.ph. Next is the Bureau of Local Employment. The BLE focuses on the local employment promotion and administration. It can be accessed through www.ble.dole.gov.ph. The BLE Programs and Projects Project Job Fits Labor Market Information Fill Job Net Project Job Fits is an automated job and applicant matching system which aims to fast-track job seekers search for job and employers search for human resource. It was carried out to provide efficient employment facilitation services and respond to the prevailing skills and job mismatch underlying to unemployment and underemployment problems here in the country. Aside from the government agencies offering information in an in-demand job and other professions where you can build your career choice, there are also information on emerging industries, which refers to the industrial sector that grow at a rate faster than the economy. This exhibits potential and may give you influence in your decisions. The emerging industries depend on the locality and the level of industrialization of a certain place. Now, we are in the You Can Do It activity. The suggested time allotment is 20 minutes. Here are the instructions. 1. Copy the table below on a sheet of paper. 2. List down 3 of the career choice and fill in the required columns. The first column, you need to fill out my career choice. Second, the factor that influenced me most in choosing the career. It can be self, interest, family, peers, media, and socioeconomic status. And lastly, my reason for allowing it or them to influence me. We are now in the last two activities. Let's focus first on what I have learned. It is good for 30 minutes. All you have to do is to write an essay of at least three paragraphs guided by questions below. Do this 
this on a sheet of paper. First question, what is really your main consideration in choosing your future career? Second, what can help you to be more certain with your future career? Third, how can you help yourself to pursue your future career? For the last activity, share your thoughts and feelings. 30 minutes. All you need to do is to visualize your future self. Who do you look like? What keeps you busy at that time? How do you feel about your status at that time? Make your own future self portrait on a short bond paper using whatever coloring materials available at home. Enjoy working!